It was day one for the 18th annual Department of the Navy Forum for SBIR-STTR Transition, the FST. Over 85 top-performing small business exhibitors greeted attendees with their proposed solutions for providing tomorrow's technology today for the Navy and Marine Corps. The Navy's premier small business technology showcase, the FST, is co-located with the Sea Air Space Exposition, bringing the Department of the Navy's small business science and technology base together with the nation's largest maritime exposition. And the FST continues to connect SBIR, STTR funded technologies with warfighters, government acquisition professionals, program managers, top industry representatives, and each other. If you walked into this convention center and spent a little time either on the, on the sea air space side or more importantly, spent a little time in the FST rooms, um, you would notice that uh, we do not lack for uh, ideation and creation and innovation, right? So all of those things are here in spades in that room. Scalable Network Technologies Incorporated does modeling and simulation for communications and networking. So the cool thing about scalable network technologies is the ability to scale these networks to very large size and evaluate how effective they're going to be in a particular mission uh, environment. Uh, the advantage to being here is the ability to network with others in the SBIR programs as well as the big prime contractors and uh, government sponsors uh, for the SBIR efforts. Attendees also have the opportunity to take part in over 113 tech talks throughout the three days. Interested parties can research each company on the forum's website in the Virtual Transition Marketplace, VTM. Qualtech Systems performs bulk diagnostics, troubleshooting, and monitoring. It has participated in SBIR for years to build their technologies. This is excellent. I'm, I'm really glad that we are here because, uh, you know, we as a small business, we need to transition our technology. Being here allows us to talk to the right people and get the transition thing rolling. Because that's a long drawn process and it's not an easy thing to track for a small business. So, so this is critical. EOSpace is a company building the next generation of optical telecommunication systems. We've been working on these SBIRs now for a couple of years. Uh, it's been a great opportunity to take the technology from, not I wouldn't say the infancy, but certainly an earlier stage of development and move it up through the various technology readiness levels up to a point where we feel it's ready to transition. Visitors were able to attend panel discussions to get a more in-depth look at the Department of the Navy's SBIR and STTR programs. Members of the FST Policy Panel on the Congressional Small Business and Science Committees encouraged them to contact their members of Congress to advocate for SBIR, STTR. Folks that serve on the committee, they're well aware of what's going on. Um, our members uh, are also well aware of what's going on, but if your member uh, isn't on the Small Business Committee or isn't on the Science Committee, they might not be that familiar with it. So uh, educate them. Us telling them that it's a good program is one thing. You telling them it's a good program is another. We've got an open door policy. Uh, anybody wants to talk SBIR with me, my door is always open. Definitely make sure your individual member knows about this program, knows it's a good program. Let them know how good it is. There was also the opportunity to set up one-on-one -on -one meetings with participating small business and Navy technology transfer representatives. Day two continues to offer high-tech exhibits, panel discussions, and opportunities to learn more about tomorrow's technology today.